<laughs> no, <it's> just talk. <laughs> Hello, folks. This is Titus, Jonas, and Bruce Wham on Spirit Life. Aww, Spirit Life! Titus, how old are you? I am eight years old, and Jonas is six. Actually, you're not eight. Today's I'm... your birthday. Yes, it's Happy right. birthday, Titus. Jonas, how old are you? I'm six. Okay, we just got back from watching Space Jam 2 with LeBron James, and the whole point of the movie is similar to the first Space Jam, where LeBron gets sucked into the Toon world, except this time it's also supposed to be all of the Warner Bros. properties that are kind of in the movie a little bit. They're trying to feature that, and it seemed a little bit like a commercial to me for that reason, but a lot of the same beats were still there from the first Space Jam. What did you think about the movie? I really liked it. I enjoyed it a lot. Hold still. Hold still. <laughs> what did you like about it? I liked how you could upgrade stuff and that you could transform anything into any shape or being or thing. And it's a video game based on real life. So I would really like that. That would be my thing. What did you like about it, Jonas? That it was actually really cool. Like, these upgrades, there were a lot of different kinds of upgrades. Oh, and there's King Kong there. You saw King Kong, right? Mm -hmm. There were a lot of cameos in the movie, and for me, as an adult watching it, I enjoyed seeing those cameos. My favorite part of the film was when um, there was almost like a montage where they showed the Looney Tunes characters in place of some of your favorite movies like The Matrix. I thought it was hilarious. I don't think the kids knew most of the references, right? Did you guys know what they were talking about? Yeah, I, kn I knew. You knew? Did you know, Jonas? No. No, you hadn't seen those movies. probably didn't. Mm. But so what the kids are talking about is that LeBron's son builds a video game and they kind of get sucked into that video game world and they're playing a basketball game based off of the video game that he made. And I mean, that's a pretty cool concept, you know? Like, that's what you guys like. Yeah, I love video games. I play them all the time. I almost play them every single day, but my mom stops me on that. <laughs> now, I never thought that the first Space Jam was like a masterpiece, but it was very nostalgic. I remember watching it like every day in the summer one year with me and my brother, and the music was great. I loved like some of the other um, players like Charles Barkley and uh, Muggsy Bogues, and I did not really understand the opponents in this movie. That wasn't clear to me the way it was in the first Space Jam. Did you guys know who those players were? No. Like the, Fal the uh, not Falcon, the uh, vulture guy and the snake lady and stuff. No, no offense to those players, they might be based off a of real, but it just didn't click for me, I didn't understand what happened in the movie it felt like they skipped a few scenes to cut down on the runtime i think it was from real life yeah based on real life and then he on um, uh, transformed uh, you know how you can upgrade anything and make anything yeah well he made those characters yeah half monster half human all right, did you think there was any deeper meaning behind this movie? Or did you see, like, was there a value? Or did the Lord speak to you through this? That's what we do on Spirit Life. We like to go deep and discuss things. Did you feel like that? I think, um, uh, there was a meaning. I think the meaning meant, uh, that you should always, um, uh, Pay attention to your sons and let them be who they want to be. Yeah, there was a very clear moral that they stopped, they established early in the movie that um, LeBron was supposed to pay better attention to his son and bond with him over the things that were important to him, not just basketball. And they very clearly made the point, and maybe it's a little heavy handed by the end of the film because they re emphasized it a few times, but I mean, that's a good moral. I felt like that was. A good takeaway. What do you think? I think it was a good movie overall. Did you feel like there was a deeper meaning, Jonas? Um, no, but <laughs> it was a really good movie. 
Look, I know this movie has gotten some lower scores on Rotten Tomatoes and everything, and maybe that's fair, but on the other hand, I think the movie is as much designed for kids as anybody else, and my kids liked it. They enjoyed it. Maybe you'll enjoy it too. I thought as a Christian father trying to, you know, expose my kids to things that are wholesome, this movie had a little bit of swear words um, that were really just unnecessary. Maybe just a, a couple, two or three. Uh, but otherwise, I mean, the content was fine. I didn't see anything that was unwholesome or anti-biblical or anything like that. But uh, would you guys give this a thumbs up for other viewers? Yeah, I think other people would like it. All right. Well, thanks so much for tuning in, guys. If you have not yet subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. The kids want to be involved with me on the channel a little more, so you'll get to see them. This is Titus and Jonas, and I'm Bruce on Spirit Life. Signing out. Woo! Ah! Uh...